So when we're talking about creating low content books, what are we really talking about? We're talking about taking a blank piece of paper, adding some words, some lines, some images, changing that piece of paper into what then Amazon takes as our manuscript and we upload it. Amazon then prints it and then ships it to a person and then they have a book. But if you're the kind of person sort of like me that just sits and looks at a blank sheet of paper and has no idea where to get started, where can you start? And that's what I want to show you today with three tools. And these three tools are going to allow you to take this and turn it into this. And at first glance, you may think this is very basic, but the idea here is we are getting started. We are taking done for you templates and letting it turn into creativity. The first tool I want to show you is tangent templates. These are literally just that interior templates. Now there's lots of other tools here inside of tangent templates and it's a low one-time price. It's a ridiculous low one-time price actually, but I want to focus in on just these interiors and then move on to the second and third tool. Because the thing is I want to take this page right here, the one that I just showed you, and I simply just want to grab a six by nine and I want simply one page. I want to leave bleed to yes. And then I simply just want to download that interior. That interior is going to download and that's the PDF that we're going to be working with in the tool that I'm going to show you to modify that PDF. But first, the next tool I want to show you is Creative Fabrica. Over at Creative Fabrica, you can buy these either one at a time or through a subscription. I have a subscription so I can download anything. And simply all I did was look up religious quotes and I found this bundle. And then I simply just click download and now I have 30 quotes that I can use to create the page that you see here. Again, the tangent template that you see here is gonna be turned into this using the third tool I'm about to show you, which is Affinity Designer. Again, a low one-time price, kind of like tangent templates, pretty much just a tool that you can purchase at a ridiculous low one-time price and get started with this concept. We'll go ahead and close this out and then what we'll do is We'll simply come up here and we will open. We'll open that PDF that we downloaded from Tangent Templates. Here is some information at this point. Just skip through that and just click open. We are just learning the basics. And the basic idea here is what we want to do is we want to get in here and we want to change these elements. First step is to ungroup all. This is going to ungroup all the elements so we can edit them. And then at this point, we're simply just going to take this and we are going to delete this element. And we are simply going to come over here and we are going to click on the image, this little image icon over here on the toolbar on the left hand side. And we're simply going to go in to our quotes and we're going to find a quote that we like and we're going to pick one of these. I picked the PNG, play with, round with this and see which one makes the most sense for you. That's going to open up and then we're simply just going to resize it, drag it down here. Again, we're just going to resize this and we're going to find spot we like and we're going to find the size that we want it and we're going to make sure that it fits right in there and it's just that simple to change that the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm simply just going to click here and i'm going to highlight the text up here in the left hand corner you can see the text here what i did is i used marker i used marker felt and then i just simply just went in here and changed all of the fonts as you can see, it's just that simple to go and change all those fonts down here. I did the same thing and I changed this from keywords to inspirational words. Of course, then I just made this bigger. So it's all on one line. And then of course I spelled inspirational correctly. And then I simply just came back up here again, marker felt, and I just changed that out. And then of course you could always bold these as well and just keep changing these fonts. And then simply you've changed this using Affinity Designer and it's really just that simple. Then you come up, File, Export. Come across here, you have all these different options, but we want to export as a PDF, 300 DPI, PDF for print, and we simply click Export. Then we just name our file and we simply click Save. Then you can see that file right here was saved as a PDF. If you click that and open it up, you're going to see here, this is the one that I just did. And you're going to see the difference here in the fonts as well as the image right there that replaced the cross. 
in the original document that I had. So you can see how I went from this to this. And then of course, if you finish it out, you can make sure that you change all the fonts and you've changed keywords to something like inspirational words. And it's just that simple to get started. And that's using Affinity Designer, Creative Fabrica, and one of the many interiors they have over at Tangent Templates. And the simple idea here is going from a blank page because it's hard to start and stare at a blank page, transforming that interior into something that is no longer blank, an actual page that people can use to write on. Once Amazon takes it, creates it, binds all those pages into a book, prints it, ships it out to them, and that's how you make money. And that's how you create. And that's how you use done for you creatives to get started and start making your own books to sell to people they're going to enjoy. They're going to get a lot out of it. You're going to get a lot out of it. And that's exactly how you get started. If this video is helpful. Give it a thumbs up. Typewriter right here on the screen. Click the typewriter. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the video you see on the screen right now. Click it. Watch it. I'll see you there and I'll talk to you later. Bye.